gotta, gotta ask you a question though, like what makes a man, you know, choose to be part of this uh, endeavor and go to space for that long? Well, I'd say it's a fairly common response. I mean, for years people have been traveling. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to start a new? Especially after uh, sort of a detrimental couple centuries here on the old uh, Terra. <laughs> Yeah, things have been getting worse, I can tell you that. <laughs> I guess, like, we should have taken some of these issues er, um, way more serious early on, but whatever, it's too late for that now. Yeah, I think also, like, if your planet needs you to step forward and take responsibility, you'll, you're gonna have to do it, no matter what. Like, <laughs> we're, we're a crucial part of the colonization. signal on my antenna right now. Alright, just gonna get her to a gentle stop. Isn't she a beauty? I'll let you sure know the is. moment I can see her. I, I uh, may have chosen She'll be on the your right now. Oh my god, look at that. Alright gentlemen, here uh, we are. Uh, sorry, give me I'm a already second. out. I just need to feel my back for a second. Ah. Hooey. Billy, thank uh, you. you wanna, uh, one of the last American faces I'm likely to see for probably the rest of my life. Cheers to you. Have a burger on me, my man. Keep the change. Why would you bring American dollars into space? Well, why not? It's not like I'm going to bring pesos. No offense. <laughs> Oh, you know what I should have brought with me is one of those old-fashioned doubloons that they brought to the New World. Quite the souvenir. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I don't want to Imagine take the first steps to... in. This thing on. Go yes. ahead. Gentlemen, go ahead and uh, enter. Uh, I'll be right down there, and uh, I just have to take care of something before. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Oh man, oh, they've stepped this they place got a, up. They got a restroom for you. Oh, haha, very funny. Yeah, that is, you know, <laughs> typical. It's good for bonding, you know? Yeah. I'll be right back. Give me if second. you don't excuse me, then I've got oh, to go. To <laughs> I, don't bite the hand that feeds you, Cinderex. Come on. Quite literally. Uh, all right, gentlemen, um, it's going to be just a little longer. Uh, why don't you come up to the um, level three and uh, meet me in my office? Yeah, of course. There should be a button next to the elevator where you can call it. There is. I'll tell you, these eggheads in R&D really do make some good machines. <laughs> yeah. So what made you get into engineering? Uh, I guess that's me. Well, um... Well, I just uh, love to solve problems, and uh, so engineering is pretty much the the solving problem thing. Like you only do, oh, the only thing you do is to solve problems. I'd say quite the opposite for me. I went to the officer corps to create problems for other people. <laughs> Something I've gotten quite good at over the years. Well, everyone has to report. Oh, very much so. I just hope I'm doing my part right. I don't imagine well, you wouldn't be. Well, I'm certainly doing something wrong because I'm dying of thirst. Almost. Oh wait, I thirst. got some, I got some water here for you. Here you go. Oh, thank, thank you. 
No worries. <laughs> All right. Good then. Uh, follow me. Take your seats as you wish. This room might look familiar to you. Ah, it's good to be back. I have uh, to this room. It's been a while since I've seen that. All right, I'm gonna be teacher's were... pet. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> I, wa I want you in, in the first row anyways, because uh, I still have to give you the command codes. All right, let me jot them. Gentlemen. Down. Perfect. Yes. I'm glad to finally actually meet you in person. Um, I, I can't tell you how grateful I am that you stepped forth to be the beacon of mankind in outer space. You're going to be just the, the pioneers of pioneers. Because what you've done, nobody else has done before and nobody else could do right now. And um, I guess there is not much left to say because... Um, You've received your training, you know the mission, you know the ship, you know your positions, and you are all just the best, best trained professionals I could ask for in this uh, endeavor. Now, um, <laughs> is there anything you want to say or ask before we um, start with launch preparations? I have uh, just one thing I'd like to say. Sure. I have one too, but here you go first. I do appreciate that this is one of our first main journeys out into the void, but oftentimes that comes with great challenges. Will we be see any type of additional support from subsequent missions, I should say? Should we encounter catastrophic issues later on? Um, well, we are going to send cargo pods for you, which mm. will resupply you while you're underway. Um, let me be perfectly honest with you, because you deserve it, honestly. <clears throat> As you know, I don't have much time left, and I don't have much money left either. Um, I've had to let pretty much everybody go who is not essential for uh, this mission anymore. And um, I, I think this is it. This is, this is my final push for this. Um, I, I wish I could tell you anything different. I wish I could tell you that, you know, there's a, there's a second line, there's an emergency parachute for you, but there isn't. There's <laughs> there is no backup for this. Um, I and that's while it's unfortunate, um, it means that you must rely on yourself, and you must rely on each other, and you must be prepared to do whatever it takes to finish the mission, and. Um, to get the ship and the colonists to New Eden in one piece. Hold on. Carol, this is not a good time. Carol, no. Okay, tell them that... Okay. Look, can you, can you put them on the phone directly? Okay. <sighs> Alright, call him then and tell him that we... Um, we'll be in contact and that uh, we can definitely discuss this. Yeah. Um, hold on. Gentlemen, uh, I'm sorry. Something has come up again. Um, feel free to use the, the balcony lounge um, next door and uh, relax there for a bit. I, I have to take care of something right now. Is there any food? And have you uh, kept any money on you?
we need to start right now with uh, the um, with the uh, start procedures. Um, right. I'm gonna try and buy you guys some time, uh, just uh, to um, make it brief. Uh, um, right. The Venezuelan government kind of wants us to not launch, and um, do we have time for another scrub? You don't. You really don't. You really don't. Alright, come on guys. Let's go. Oops. Alright. All hands, let's just rush over to the lion. You hear those shots? That might be the Venezuelan government. I'm seeing the flash. He's killing them. Go! The explosions. Work your way upstairs, up. Upstairs, upstairs. Go, go, go. We gotta get there before they put fire onto the fuel tanks, because I don't necessarily know how bulletproof our vessel is. Uh, well, it's gonna be a bit of a jump here, guys. Is there a mind the gap sign? It's not the time for joke. Okay, here we go. Just make it to the vessel. Other way, other side. Oh god, it's way bigger than I thought. Alright. Let's get on the lift. Syndrax, other side. Other side. There's a step here, guys. Um, where you see, come to me. Come to me. I see. It's a bit of a jump. No, you're not kidding. Let's see if I can make this. Alright, send us up. On our way. Look there it is. That. How many people do we have on board? Can anyone? Four people. Well, four crew members. Yes. No, they're colonists. colonists. Oh. You realize they're not just cargo, my friend. Okay, they're the payload. Definitely. Noah, I'm gonna need you to uh, boot up as quickly as you can. Yeah. Yes, boss. Great. We're on our way. This is Noah reporting. Tell me twice. All right, Noah, can you run procedures on our launch sequence? Uh, we may need to skip some steps. Let me pull up the launch checklist. All right, all hands good. We have our 24 colonists in tow. Can I get a copy on that AI? 24 colonists, all accounted for. Do we have any unintended visitors at this point? Scanning. No, I need that answer now. None, none at this point. Excellent. Okay. And we'll do final checks. All right. Time for lift up. Um, hydrogen tanks filled out 100%. Two. Okay. Uh, hydrogen tanks on top stockpile. Stockpile Excellent. off. Step two. Uh, thrusters online. Pilot light on. First is step eight, Noah responding. This Noah? Is Noah responding. Inertia dampness engaged. Step no, no. ten, disengaged, docking, landing gear. No, 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 hold on. I'm How are those reactors? Yeah, I'm, che I'm checking that reactor. Noah, I'm hearing a lot of gunfire. Has any of those stray shots damaged our hull? Checking. I don't see any shots going towards our uh, So far, the hull is undamaged. I wouldn't stand by any windows, just in case. Oh. They don't sound like machine guns. Um, gentlemen, um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to... Uh, 
get to uh, the secondary site. Um, just launch launches as, as we as we. They're they're already getting into the uh, facility. Um, Sir, go ahead. We'll take it from here. Don't sure. Disconnecting landing. And and with you as well. Reactor good. I believe. Docking pistons reversing. Disengaging the. Hold on, I need to get up to my set before we launch. All connectors are disengaged. Confirmed. Well, it's time to say goodbye to the motherland. Yeah, hold on. I'm Prepare for takeoff. Going up the service elevator. Our engineer, he's not here. I'm going up the service elevator. Hold on. Lucas, I, I need you in that seat ASAP. Yep. In 30 seconds. You can start the countdown. All right, begin launch countdown. Get to your seat, though, as soon as possible. Yep. Noah? I'm running. Take us up. No responding. Don't be 10, 9, 8, Ooh. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bye bye, guys. Here we go. Race. Jeez. Ember, breathe. All right, we're our G Force simulations. Not even close. Taking radar. No aircraft de detected in the vicinity. It would appear that the military has not given chase. Do we have any Excellent. And obviously, chase? nobody has diverted their satellite network to interfere with our launch. Correct, Noah? Checking. There is heightened activity between um, Earth and the asteroid defense network. <sighs> okay, what are our options here? How long should we burn for? Uh, I think full burn, because we're still in planetary gravity. I'm calculating a new jump point um, to... No, uh, to uh, <laughs> deal with the early launch. Yeah, absolutely. According to my calculations, you have 40 minutes to reach the point. 40 minutes. All right. That is not ideal. We're point 0.1 Gs now, guys. Planetary uh, gravity. Yeah. I would uh, rest. Uh, I, would, uh, I would probably say that it will take. At I'm going to ease off the frost. Probably about 30 minutes to get to the. Jump point estimated time. Thirty minutes. All right. Wait, let if me... that's the case, uh, Lucas, I, I need to know. Is there any way that you can speak with Noah and figure out if we have an existing projection of our OEM I mean, or our soon, original manufactured we... specification, so we can restore the ship to its previous as, state? As soon as, we, as soon as we get out of the planetary gravity, I will take it by the day. I will check out the tank. Alright, I'm gonna quickly reconnect. Okay, um, if I were to do a damage report on the hangar... Go for it. Seems like there is um, about 50% of the hangar. That is There's very troubling. There's a big troubling. hole in the hangar. Um, so could possibly see if I could pull up a projection of the ship. Uh, Noah, do you yeah. have a projection online? No, I do have a projection in my database, yes. Uh, Noah, where can I find the closest building tools and building materials? Building tools and, uh, are in the sleeping quarters and um, supplies are in the cargo containers in the production module. Okay. Right, myself. Warning, ICBM inbound. It's an ICBM. An ICBM? Um, I All think right. this might call for some drastic maneuvers. Go for the maneuvers. The national uh, I'll engage my sorry. mag boots. Everyone in their seats. <laughs> okay. Apart from you, yeah. Commander. You should be fine. Yes. 
Additionally, uh, do we have any type of countermeasure on board? Well, um, I'm going to start accelerating. Yeah, go for it. There's one thing we oh, could do. I'm feeling it. Uh, Commander, there's one thing we could do. Go for it. Well, since uh, the ICBM, they might be controlled by infrared radar. If we turn off the ship for like 10 seconds, it will, uh, it will automatically delete all of the signatures from the engines and since this is a uh, since the, the all the uh, walls are uh, what's it called since all the walls walls are uh, temperature proof uh, they won't let out our heat signatures so it's a worth a shot but a shot before we do though Noah oh, yes. will disabling our reactor cause any catastrophic issues with our colonists Mm, as soon as the uh, cryopods are not connected to power or oxygen, colonists will start dying. The ICBM, it's not a spacecraft, so we do have a slight advantage. Additionally, if need be, no, is it possible to jettison one of our hot nozzles, specifically the thruster portion? Mm, that is technically possible. Can you manage it? Or However... We, we, we need to dispatch personnel to do so. I am unable to manipulate the ship in that manner. <sighs> All right. Do we, well, are we question. able to see this ICBM by eye? How close is it? I think it's going to be fast. 1.5 kilometers out. All right, here's our options. I want to hear your guys' feedback. I understand that we saved the thruster pack in order to land on New Eden, but I can't risk the colonists' lives by disabling power. I think it might be time to do a stage separation, and we'll just have to solve that problem when we come to it. Well, that's what Commander, I must warn you that um, in order to successfully um, jump from the jump point, the ship must come to a complete stop. Yeah, well, do we I, have any additional forms of thrust on board? Base. I might. Let's go. I might have an alternate suggestion. Uh, we could do. maybe engage an early jump. But maybe some. I would more. strongly advise against an early jump. The uh, jump points are carefully calculated. Um, jumping before them um, will throw the ship off course, and uh, you will need to use gravity wells of planets um, along the way to achieve um, the travel to New Eden. Okay. However, analyzing the missile, um, I found that it lacks lateral thrust, so it will not be able to deal with any sort of gravity coming from the side. Oh, well, also, there's a solution. Excellent job, Noah. Also, um, the Dandelion has two um, universal utility ships that could be used to tamper with the missile. I, yeah, that is very smart. Should I go back to the hangar bay? Uh, they should be remote accessible if you want to operate it. No, I think it will be best if I pilot it myself. Do we have uh, blueprints of uh, the two ships? While the missile is closing, go ahead and turn and give us a lateral burn. Just hard 90 degree turn, hold on. And while we do that, get ready to dispatch one of the yeah, utility the vehicles. The I will say, worst case scenario, I will engage stage separation, so trying to be on the upper stage. Yeah. Though I don't think that will be a very good plan, but it will, be, I mean, it will work. I'm certain if the uh, eggheads I mean, could build this machine that you certainly could modify it again so we could land. But for now... Commander, I must advise you that the uh, jump drives are on the drive section of the ship. Mm. We're, we'd bug it if we uh, either jump early or disengage this whole thrust system. So, there's so Noah, could, please read over uh, the I list have, of options that we access, gave you and give me your access, recommendation on which one you think is best. Can someone Option one, launch a decoy. Option two, um, engage projectors to fool the missile into a false projection. Option three, use gravity. Option four, Wait, uh, um, no. drop the drive section. Can Let's I get an update? Lateral How, burn. Close How close we are? Well, here's my current recommendation. Can you get us no close time. enough to the gravity well to pull the missile out of position? As in just skim the edge of it. Sure, I can try. 
All right. Point is right Should back I readjust here. course? Yep. Well, there's a moon nearby. I could use that. That would work. And it's on the way. Yeah, take us to the edge of the moon and try to keep us as close to the gravity well without entering it as you can. Our goal is to burn around it to see if we can pull the missile toward at least... It. If we can even divert it slightly, we might be able to escape it. But don't stop burning, no matter what. Keep us at max velocity during the turn. Will do. The missile is matching course. Of course it is. Okay, I think the small ship might be a good solution. Well, on the bright side, if this all goes wrong, we can at least blame the Venezuelans instead of ourselves. Very true. I don't think we'll be live to play. Very true. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit closer to the hangar. Yeah, place hacking the Experiencing some force issues. Oh, wow. Uh, Noah, can you give me an alert when the missile becomes uh, under one kilometer? What? Understood. Okay, I am flying, though I can't see the control of it. There we go. What is the proximity toward the missile and ourselves at this point? The missile is uh, 1.39 kilometers away. Uh, I am right beside the <laughs> missile. I might be able to get the range to hack it. We're reaching this moon uh, shortly. I think our best bet is to just burn it in the atmosphere and circle back to pick you up. Or you just slow down. If we slow down, the missile will just continue going at max velocity toward us. So our only way to slow it down is to use its lack of thrust in all directions to somehow trap it within the gravity well of the moon. Which was a pretty brilliant solution there, Noah. Good on you. I am the most uh, sophisticated AI on, on the planet Earth, or well, outside of it. Off the planet Earth as well. Man, Dandelion is a pretty cool ship. Yep, we're in planetary gravity now, Captain. Excellent. All right, Thank status you. on the missile. The missile what do you starts see to be there? affected. We're in the, okay, we're in the gravity. It's, it's on track now. Lucas, be careful you don't get pulled down as well, okay? Yeah, okay, the missile is trying to go towards you. I think it's, it's hydrogen thrusters that have started to... Okay, it has stopped tracking you. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look to be much affected. Hmm. I'll, I'll follow it for a safe I'll tell you one thing, I've definitely figured out what change I'd like to make to the vessel. I think it might behoove us not only to have a defensive capability, but to have a failsafe as well, like a decoy launcher. I deeply appreciate it, Lucas. Thank you. ICBM now at 2,700 meters. Yeah. And I'm approaching the ice very fast. Slow down. Keep approaching us and we're going to continue our burn until we're certain that missile is gone and then we'll circle back. We have more than enough thrust to pick you up. What's our timetable on reaching the jump point? Well, we're about 30 km away, so that's not too long. Yeah, we can I'm not sure repairs. how long we've got left. We can make repairs yeah, at a full just burn. Slow down us. Can you Just slow down to under 100 meters per second so that the utility craft can make it back? Yep. I will point towards the uh, jump uh, zone as well. Yeah, so we bad and good news. Go on. Bad news first. Um, the bad news is that we lost one of our utility ships. Uh, we have more bad news. I'm floating inside of the hangar. One small adjustment or course that would fall out of this place. Oh dear. Alright, let's 
do this really carefully. Can and you direct us on how to keep you alive? Kind of the ship, so. Okay, I. Yep. Uh, wait, turn, um, spin the ship. Where? Turn 90, turn 90 degrees, degrees 90, where? 90 degrees towards the moon. Yeah, the, exactly. And then there? turn. Yeah, exactly, go for it. Full throttle. And then turn like 15 degrees more. Okay, now you're just going away from the run. That's right, the can same you tell us if anyway. we're getting closer or farther away from you right you're now? You're getting closer away, but you're a bit... Go, try to go a bit more upwards, as All if right, you we've, were... Yeah, we've changed direction, we've tilted up, more so in that go, direction. Like, from the moon, but not towards... Alright, you. we're gonna use the moon as down from now on, okay? Okay, the moon is down, you go up. Alright, where I is see the moon you're still, you're position. passing me now, you're 4 kilometers under me. You're passing okay. right now. Uh, so let us know when we're oriented up. toward you. I can't see that. Just go straight. All right, up. change direction go. and fly. And if we're still on target, uh, tell us. I don't we'll know keep what changing direction, direction to go. Kind of Mars. Ready? We're gonna orient ourselves so yeah, the moon is I on our that. left. I the, I'm going that Mars. the Earth is on our right, and Mars is straight ahead. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's good. So. All Earth right. So we're gonna we're now pointing in that direction. So. Mars is ahead closer. of us, yeah, you're like a little bit closer, over our head. Closer. We have the moon on our left, and Earth right now is below us. When you get close enough, I can just you can just stop, and then I can tell you which direction to like spin. All right, we're cruising. But then you're, yeah. We've got to make this quick, or else our calculations for jumping aren't going to be ideal. So, try your best. My energy for my system is at twenty-five percent. So okay, okay we're four gonna kilometers get you. away. Don't panic. Breathe. <sighs> All right, Noah. What is his chances of survival? That is totally dependent on uh, individual actions. No right, way to calculate. Okay, okay, I see you guys. I see you guys. I see you guys. I see you guys. Three kilometers away. Hold on. Okay, okay. Uh, stop right there. Stop right there. It takes a long time to decelerate. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Turn away from the moon so the so the Earth. So you're aiming towards Mars, so the Earth is like kind of on your back. I guess. Right. Uh, no, turn like. Try to imagine you're going away from the Earth and up from the moon. So at okay. The same so time. currently speaking, the Earth is on our right side. Okay, never mind. Just go straight forward. Okay, the the moon is on my twelve o'clock. The Earth is on my one o'clock. The alien planet is on my twelve o'clock. All right. The Hold Mars there. is Just... on my. Uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, if Mars... So if you were saying the sequence in order, it would be... The Earth... Oh, so the Moon is at your 12. So orient us so we're in the same direction as him. No, the so Moon is the at moon, my 6. Never mind. The Moon is at your 6. Okay, if that's the case and we're staring straight but up... I only have 9. Move counterclockwise. Give us counterclockwise. Give me about you're 40 degrees. You're going closer degrees. to me right now. Keep right on. now you're going closer to me. Keep dying. The moon is okay, the tell moon. us before you die so we can recover your corpse. We can bring you back. We just need okay. you to tell us. Are we getting closer? Uh, the moon is at my 4 o'clock. The four o'clock? alien planet is at my uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, okay, I'm at the same. And Mars, Mars is at 9. Earth is at Perfect, we're exactly lined up. Alright, stay alive a little bit longer. 5 health left. And I'm dead. See if we can recover this body. If I can get you close, do you think you can pilot the ship around his body? Uh, yeah. Body. Um, Commander? Uh, yes, I know no. this is uh, hard for you humans, but the window for our jump is closing rapidly. I, I don't think we can do it. If do we have any options of recovering our fallen comrade, Noah? Without him conscious and without him being able to give you directions, I doubt it. 
There is no procedure for this. <sighs> All right. Cody, you and I are going to have to have a little discussion in the med room later on. I think I might have a way around this, but it's not going to be ideal. In the meantime, go ahead and take your seat. Get us to the jump point. I think I might have a way around this. But for now, man up. I need you to r bull rush us to that jump point, okay? One second. Cody, do you have access yes. to um, our food printers? Uh, I believe I do. Okay. Can you set them to Simeon? One second. Uh, food printers. So, Lucas, if my memory serves, did use his control seat, correct? So, if that's the case, I'd like you to take a swab of DNA from that control seat, specifically anywhere that is skin touched, take it to the food printer, code it, run it as a simian, so a monkey, and it should be close enough, okay? We're gonna okay. see if this can I'll work. I don't try what I can do. Okay. Head down south. Uh, I will tell you what. Noah, help him in any way that you can. In the meantime, let's just get to that jump point. This has definitely never done, been done before, but... I don't think he'll be entirely human, but I think we can make it work. So... We have a food receiver, sir. Just put the uh, put the sample inside, and I'll try to figure it out from here. Okay. Additionally, can you take his last brain scan as well? Mm, his last brain scan brain scan is about a week old. Uh, he might not remember how he got here. He might be pretty confused. Worst case scenario, we'll train him on the spot. But this is the best I can do. Analysis complete, I might uh, be able to uh, start sequencing now. Do your best, take your time, especially with the head. Well, if this works, we're, you're definitely earning a Nobel Prize there, Cody. Synthesis at uh, 20%. Synthesis right, no. at 40%. Excellent. Noah, do we have sedatives prepped? There is a standard set of sedatives aboard the ship, yes. Okay, we may need to administer them if he doesn't take the news of what's happened well. 60% and rising. We are at 100%. I'm attempting uh, resuscitation now. Alright. Remember, go easy on him. He doesn't know what happened. And better if he won't know ever. Noah, do not inform Lucas of what happened, all right? Understood. Same with the rest Where of us. Where am I? Is this the deadline? What am I doing here so early? We're launching big. Lucas, um, I think you need to speak to Noah for a time. We're pulling off a complex maneuver, but we'll get to you soon, okay? Talk to Noah. Are we in space? We are indeed in space, yes. I have um, direct orders not to tell you what happened, <clears throat> but I would like for you to know that everything is all right. Okay, nice. And uh, I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting for you. I have some. Do you have some? In the cafeteria. Yeah, there's our... food in the uh, food sequencers, or rather in the cargo containers, which you can access through the food sequencers in the uh, main alas, alas, social hub. Alas, alas Mr. Cook. Yes. Uh, Captain, I've I've uh, got the message from uh, before we took off. Excellent. Please I think it might be me. important. Uh, I think it's better if only you see it. I see. Go ahead and put the message in. Do you have some Send food? It. To my personal data pad, please. 
Uh, I'll meet you at the bridge. All right. We still have five minutes after we reach our destination to uh, execute the jump. I'm going to give uh, the command code over to Noah. Noah, do you want the command code verbally? Uh, I don't need the command code for the jump. Understood. The jump can be executed through the um, through the remote control block on the bridge. I've I've done this before in the simulations. I should be good at it. All right. You hungry, Syndrix? Yes. Yeah. Hungry and thirsty. You were good to Okay. Go, One second. And did you get the message? I dropped it. I'm not seeing it, if it's here. It's been destroyed. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. I'll tell you what, uh, in my character, I, I think I dropped this in the, uh... In the elevator shaft? Like, the, uh, takeoff thing. But when we, before we took off, I think I dropped it to you then, and then... I think I left I it there. It. All right, I'll tell you what, I just temporarily, to... I will make the jump for you, okay? Gotta walk yeah, you through it's it, only though, I'm not used to it. I promise. All right, direct, but because um, I don't have the GPS. All right, Commander, so full throttle. Hold uh, all the way forward, 100 meters a sec. Align your, align the ship crosshair with uh, jump point zero zero one. Okay. I Unless, don't have do you see that? I don't have the coordinates for zero zero one. Um, Can you give it to me? I, uh, it's for, I'll transfer it to you. Just send it to me in comms. There you go. All right, I got it sent to me. All right, I'm gonna approach the jump point. All right, walk me through this. Is there anything else I should know about flying this beast? Uh, not really. She should stops slower than she accelerates. Pretty. Yeah, very much. Probably around 12 seconds. Uh, decelerate. on target. We're gonna overshoot it. Not by much, but we will overshoot it. I'm gonna do a counter burn. It's directly to your right now. It's about okay. 10 meters off. There we go. Wow, I didn't overshoot it. Look at that. Are you kidding me? We're right um, on it. All right. Yep. Noah, that how is, far uh, should we jump? Uh, just just do a blind jump. I'll configure it myself. Um, All right. You can. All hands into, brace for jump. You can also just go into your. Oh, never mind. Let's jump first. Oh, I can't jump. Haha. <laughs> We're gonna jump full distance. Are all yep. personnel sure. seated? Yes. Yeah. All right. Jumping in ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, brace! Ugh.